Some time ago, I opened the studio and set up a large format camera. I invited the public to come in and have portraits made. Some of my equipment has some age. The lens is 80 years old and it doesn't have a shutter. So I built a shutter out of plywood, got some aluminum, and a little pin. I keep the dark in with a plastic blade that has a hole in it. I used 4x5 film. It was 40 years old. When the subject pulls the pin using the string, the blade falls, exposes the lens, and the film to light. It probably happened 35 times over the course of that day, and I'm not sure that I own any of the images, because generally a photographer times the photo themselves. In this case, the subject is the photographer. Nice! I wasn't even ready that time, you didn't give me any warning. The film was processed in the developer that I mixed up myself. I started with beer. Makes the process more fun. 100 milliliters of beer, 900 milliliters of water. 60 grams of washing soda was added to the mix. Agitated well. I measured out 16 grams of vitamin C and added that. Added 40 grams of instant coffee, and that was my developer. We're all connected by a string. We all have to work together. Portraiture has always been a collaboration. Without a subject, there really isn't a portrait. I wanted to use this project as an analogy for life. That we all make individual choices, and those individual choices have a knock-on effect on those around us. And this project looks at copyright, and on a superficial level, that's really all it is. On a deeper level, I wanted to look at how the choices that we make have an effect on those around us. Film is much like us. It's sensitive. It's easily marked. It's affected by light. It's affected by heat. All of these leave a, an imprint. Life begins and ends between two shadows. It's a big ball of string, and we're wrapped up in it together.